Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. I work as a software engineer here in this video. I would love to show you how to load AWS secret manager values into an environment variable. What do I mean by that? Please allow me two minutes to explain. Well, essentially, if you are using any sort of secret credential, you know, in companies, we often essentially say dev.env, prod.env, we have this env files and we store everything in an env file. Well, I do not like that idea essentially storing everything in an env file, but rather it's more convenient you store things in AWS secret manager much more secure, manages encryptions and, and other things. So let's try to write a simple class that does the job, essentially reads the data from AWS Secret Manager, and once it's done reading, it basically updates all the value in the environment variable, so you can use it. So let's get started with the coding. All right, so quickly pulling up my snippets out there. All right, so uh, in order to implement uh, this, uh, let's get started, uh, hopefully we are rolling. All right. Uh, I'll show you, of course, I'll try to create some secret manager on AWS as well, but let's start, man. So the first thing that we need is, first of all, we need to import OS and then we need to import JSON, right? We need to import uh, uh, these two library and also let's import uh, Boto3 library uh, because, you know, we, we need that. And if, if, if any of these library are not there, uh, let's uh, uh, essentially uh, raise our own custom exception saying that some and I'll just say missing. Okay, so that's done. And if everything went wrong, right, uh, we wanna make sure that this worked fine. So, uh, so we can say, loaded, it's good, good, good. And we'll do that, that essentially provides the file name. So good uh, thing for debugging. All right, so we have that, right? Now what we need to do, essentially, we need to have a simple class. So first of all, we need to create some global variables. This one, this one would store the access key, the secret and the region name. So I have defined this as a global variable. Now, essentially, we just need to write some classes, man. Very easy. Class, AWS. Uh, let's try to follow some conventions instead of just use, let's follow camel casing. M should be capital. Uh, by default, all the class inherits from object. We all know that. Uh, let's define the constructor. All right, uh, now in the constructor, what we need to do is we need to, we need to essentially, first of all, create a session object. Uh, so I'll create that here. Remember underscore means it's a private variable. I'm purposely defining because I do not want the client to have access to the variables. Once that's done, what I would like to do is we'll create a simple client object. We'll pass the session and we are passing in the credential name. Now the secret manager, uh, this is a service that we are using. These are the credential that's defined on the global level, right? So that's that. Now all we need to do is we need to define a method called define get secrets. Uh, okay, so doo -doo 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 -doo, let's do that. Um, now what we need to do essentially here, uh, remember uh, it's um, by default, I don't know if you guys know, but Python stores all these variables in essentially a dictionary, uh, which consumes, remember dictionary consumes more memory. You can provide something called slots. So slots essentially prevents attribute. Uh, so it prevents adding attributes at runtime. So now it stores in a list. Now I define that, okay? So that's that. Now in the, uh, so over here we wanna, again, every function should follow um, a standard here. So accept exception as E. And or you just don't want to return error, right? You want to return error in, in, in a style, right? So uh, usually I try to follow status code negative one. Uh, then I have an entity called error of entity. Uh, you will usually a hash table and then here you'll have a message and pretty much string error, right? So you want to follow this approach, right? Now over here, uh, should be pretty easy. <laughs> so we do that. So essentially right here, we are, uh, we are saying the client object gets secret value. We'll be providing a secret name. So this function should be taking that argument, right? So we do that. Uh, let's set this to null value. And here let's do a check. If 
if you did not pass anything right you if you if that's equal to an empty code what you want to say you want to raise an exception right so raise exception and say secret name cannot be null okay so uh, beautifully we took care of that and now we need to return the secrets right or what we can do is this one right here now remember we don't want to return secret we essentially want to store all the secrets in an environment variable so um pretty easy man so what we could do uh i think i just need to remember or find the code that i wrote uh, somewhere in my company uh, which i cannot recollect at this point but uh, let me give me i think i think i have some sort of idea so um as far as i remember i think in order to add items in an environment so uh, you can simply say so since it's a dictionary now right we serialize this so we can say key comma value in uh, secrets to, oops i think it has to be secrets secrets dot items items is essentially uh, a way to iterate over a key and a value and i think as far as i remember i think it's the environ and then you provide the key and then you provide the value uh if if i'm wrong on this i'll correct the code snippet so don't worry on that so let's do everything in one line so based on the secret if fetched automatically would store everything on environment variable and we don't want to return secret never re return secret so just return true that that means that uh, everything is stored in in the environment variable or essentially we can follow this error uh, this 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 structure right here so status code let's say 200 of course you won't have an error here so the error entity would be of uh, this data entity uh, would be essentially we'll have a message and let's set this to true okay oh wait why is my t oh, i'm actually using python not javascript okay perfect so that's pretty much it man uh so let's put this let's uh format this a little bit here perfect looks good all right so now in your code essential if you want to use this uh you can simply say something like this so call the class aws secret manager and then when you say get secret it's going to return a true or false and you provide the secret name Provide your access key, your secret key here, and essentially your secret name. Um, I, I think I can actually also show you guys. Uh, so let me just uh, switch to a display capture now. All right, so now let's go to the AWS secret manager. Before I do that, I need to do something. So first of all, I need to create the right user. So let's go to I am almighty. I'll just add an admin for now, you know, but uh, yeah. So users, I have this one, I have to delete that. I forgot, uh, usually uh, enter the name, uh, what, what is this? Ah, B, what is this? D, uh, I have to confirm deletion, enter the username. Uh, I have to enter the username, okay, no problem. We'll delete this. Okay, so now we need to create an IAM user for uh, the, our secret stuff that we are learning, right? So let's call this test. I'm gonna delete it after the video. So don't worry on that. Next, permissions, I'm gonna attach an admin policy here. Uh, review, 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 uh, there you go. Access key, put that in the code to you know try this out. Uh, copy the secret key, which should be here. Now let's head over here, secret manager. Uh, we like to store some value. So what do I say? Uh, what is this credential for? Where's the text one? Uh, RDS, document, credential for Redshift, credentials for database, other types of secrets, yep. So let's say name, These and my secret value is some secret. Whatever you wanna add, right? Keep adding stuff, whatever you wanna add. So once you do that, um, you know, next, simple, easy. Next, oh, I need to give a name. My AWS secret, let's call this, uh, give it some description whatever uh, click on next next should be good store um so now we have a secret right so now we come to the code and just to just to show you i'll also try to uh let's uh, not let's not do that because i don't want to reveal all other my secrets <laughs> os dot get env and let's try to get the variable name call remember we have a name inside that right so uh okay so uh print Let's say os.getenv is a function. Let's try to get the name. Let's see if this worked, right? So uh, if things worked fine, this should essentially populate the name in my environment variable. 
So with that being said, let's try to run this code and see if it works. I, I hope so. I'm assuming so. All right, let's see. Um, I should see the value here because I'm getting the environment variable. Remember, it's on the secret manager. When you load from secret manager, we um, it's taking a quite a long time. It shouldn't take that long. Am I running the right script? Not sure. Let's see. Let's try to find out. Uh, I think so. I mean, why is this taking a long time? This shouldn't be taking that long. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on. I think my computer is a bit slow here and just that's the reason I'm saying okay is to make sure that <laughs> this script is running actually. Uh, let's see start. Oh, now it worked. Um, some there you go uh, it just took a while my computer is a bit slow but yeah yeah you see the value right so essentially that, that's how you can use AWS secret manager to, 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 to store essentially secrets and then load all the secrets to an environment variable so this class should take care of that and with that being said thank you so much for watching the code snippets in the description section below try it out learn it and um, that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you guys have learned something new um, uh, this video I showed you about slots slots is essentially you use in the classes in Python because by default everything is stored in dictionary dictionary consumes more memory so, and that way you can optimize your classes a little bit so you can use slots you can google a little bit about slots but with that being said thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep learning and see you guys in the upcoming next video